Hello, hello and happy Wednesday to you all. I'm not going to be on for long, I just wanted to um, pop back on and do the part two of uh, the Powertex project that um, you'll see the uh, video where I did the um, upcycling a bleach bottle. Um, and I wanted to just pop on today to show you um, how I'm going to be colouring it using Powertex Easy Varnish. Let me switch cameras, you don't need my ugly mug. Um, I'm going to be using Powertex Easy Varnish and a range of pigments. Now I've been on the website, you can buy these pearlescent pigments and it comes as a set of 12, I think from memory it was 2250. And you can also buy sets in rainbow blue or rainbow red, and they're £22.50 each, or you can get both as a as a double kit for £39.99. I will put the links um, under the video. But all you do, I don't know if you will remember the old bleach bottle. I still haven't washed on the inside, but that will come off. Um, but yes, that was the plastic bottle, and now it's lovely and hard. So I've added various bits. I've, I've, I've got a real green thing going on at the moment. Um, various leaves and what have you. I've got a plastic little paint palette and a range of brushes, size brushes. Um, so depending on how detailed you want something or how tiny something is, so I know when I come to this B, I will probably be using the little round brush so that I can get in to all those little areas there. So anyway, just it, as I say, this is a quick one just to show you what you do. I've got the easy varnish in a little bottle because when I'm at the table, it's just easier to, to pour out little bits. So I'm going to put some of that on my tray. I'm going to do it a little bit. The other thing you will need is some kitchen roll because basically we're going to be dry brushing. It's like a dry brush technique. So I'm going to start with the big one. Um, just bear with me. Oh. If you heard that, I'm really sorry. I've got a rumbly tummy. Let me just see if I can brighten this up a little bit. Uh, bear with me. No, that's not going to work. But hopefully, maybe I can alter it on the on the screen. Let me move this piece over here. That's it. Right, so. Easy varnish in the palette. And I'm going to start with, I'm going to use a pearlescent purple. I love purple and green. So I'm going to get some easy, easy varnish on my brush and I'm going to dip it in to the powder and I'm going to move that out of my way because at the moment I seem to be very accident prone. I'm going to work that into my brush and then I'm going to wipe most of it off. I really, really ought to eat before I do things. And then because I want this quite solid can you see the ridges in this material? So if I just drag my brush across gently, that colour is coming off. And although I wiped it off, there's quite a lot on there. It's quite surprising how far this goes. Let me switch the camera. And... Um, Maybe you can see it a little bit better on that one. You see that the colour is actually coming out. So as I do it, I want that, I mean, I do want that quite heavy. So I'm not pressing too hard, 
but hard enough to bring this out. And adding your colour is as simple as that, but each time I don't want it solid, so each time I go back to my palette, I'm going to take quite a bit off. And this little bit of material here is like a lace. But all these bumps, where all that lovely texture is, it's really picking it up and really hits these bumps. So I will continue to um, colour this and then I will show you the finished result and I'll hope to add this to the end of this video today. So that's, uh, that's my task for today. It's really, really very simple. And you can, and this would be the same principle. Oh, I don't need any more of that. I do need a little bit more juice. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier because this is just for me anyway. I'm going to get, go a little bit heavier because I don't think it's actually showing that much and I'd really like you to see it. So let me get that like that. All I'm going to do is lay my brush flat. You can see that better already, can't you? And that's just a flat brush and it's surprising how much pigment is on there. Turn it round, going again. And I'm going backwards and forwards to get as much out. You will get um, better colouring once I take a photograph, I think, and really see. I mean, this is... Um, this is a pearlescent, so it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Don't know if you can see it that well. That's better. I haven't done the bottom yet, but I'm going to. And so, um, let's just do... So there's still actually loads in there. I'll just bring it over that leaf. Let's get a bit more. No, purple and green. And I'm really hardly touching this. You, you just don't need to. I mean, if you wanted a really heavy colour, you could go in heavier. But look at that. And the easy varnish will help make it waterproof. This is going to just be an indoor thing. Um, it might just be better. Excuse my arm. Going back to that one now. And let me zoom in. I'm still getting used to this package. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? So that's how you colour with the micro powders. That would be very similar. I, I will do um, have a go with acrylics. But you can even, I learnt today that once your um, Paratex is dry, you can even use oil paints. I've never used oil paints, so um, it's not something that's kind of on my radar but really easy and all of a sudden your project starts to really pop you know it's it's fantastic having all these textures anyway but it really pops when you start adding color so i'll get that finished um within the next sort of hour or so and uh get it photographed add it to the end of this video and um upload it for you to 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 see so don't forget to subscribe um, or even just like or comment because that all helps me to start getting seen on social media. So I would really appreciate it, please. Um, but anyway, uh, I shall be looking to do some more stuff this week to come back on and see you. Um, so yeah, see you then. Okay, bye bye.